Meanwhile, a man's in custody after he held police at bay for four hours today in Montgomery County. Homa Bash is live for us in Chevy Chase with this report. Homa? Hey guys, yeah, we're on Willard and River Road, and this vacant house is where this man barricaded himself inside for four hours before coming at officers with a knife. Officers did what they were trained to do. The SWAT team did what they were trained to do. Everybody remained calm, and um, that's exactly what we want. So let me tell you off the top, nobody was hurt here. Maintenance crews came to do work on this vacant home on Willard Avenue around 10 this morning. When they arrived, they found a man inside who wouldn't leave. Maryland National Park Police responded because they own this property and they surrounded the home. At some point, they say the man came outside that he lunged at officers with a large kitchen knife. Officers backed off. They called in Montgomery County Police squat, SWAT teams. Several roads in the area along Wisconsin, Willard and River were all shut down or rerouted as SWAT teams dealt with the situation. A command post was set up outside the Saks Fifth Avenue off Wisconsin. The man, described as a 66-year-old Hispanic male, was taken into custody around 2 p.m. and transported to the hospital for evaluation. Police believe this may have been a mental health episode. He will eventually face charges of assault on an officer and burglary, possibly more. Maryland National Capitol Park Police telling us this is what they train for and the de-escalation tactics here were commendable. We did need to uh, get the gentleman out of the house, but we were able to do it in a way that kept everybody safe. And this is really what we want for us. It's what we want for the community. And um, it, it's the best ending we could hope for. Now, police tell us it appears the man may have been living in this vacant home for months. You can see they came back out and they boarded up all the doors and windows. Neighbors we spoke to say they hadn't really seen anybody around. The home is slated for demolition. That is why crews were out here. Again, nobody was injured. The man was taken into custody and he will be facing charges once he is released from the hospital. The roads all back here opened up around 2 p.m., guys.